Beyond Burgers. Maybe you like them, maybe you don't. But let's see how they cook up in the Ninja Foodie Grill XL. I'm Darno with Wave Oven Recipes, and I'm going to get started grilling up some Beyond Burgers right now. All right, so I got myself two Beyond Burgers here, and so just so you have a good look at them, you see the underside of the pack. You know, they look kind of like beef patties, kind of. But I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. Alright, and with the pack open, you can have a better look at them. They smell not really like beef patties. I'm going to be very honest with you. They smell kind of like dog food. They remind me of dog food, to be perfectly honest. And that's not to try and disparage them at all, but just fact. So, I'm going to get the meat probe off the side here, because I'm going to try this as a... Uh, meat probe type of a cook. I'm just going to turn the Ninja Foodie Grill XL on and going to get the meat probe on out and stick it on into the jack. And with the meat probe in, I'm going to hit the grill button and I'm going to set it because you're supposed to do like a medium high on the grill is what the Beyond beef people or beyond meat people recommend. You're supposed to use a medium high but the Ninja Foodie Grill has basically like a high and a medium. It doesn't have a medium high. So I'm just going to go with the medium setting and I'm going to try and use one of the presets. I'm going to use the preset for chicken. I'm going to go up to... there's chicken. I'm going to use chicken because we want to get this uh, Beyond Burger, these Beyond Burger patties to 165. So I'm going to do it kind of like chicken and I'm going to go ahead and hit start and let that begin its preheat process while it's preheating I'm just going to go ahead and stick the meat probe into the side of one of these Beyond Burger patties it's, it's kind of like uh, sticking it in it doesn't feel like it's going through meat it feels like it's going through well it's kind of breaking up even trying to go through so I don't think that trying to use a probe because of how this thing just breaks up. It doesn't hold like normal beef would when you stick a probe in it. And now that I took the plug out, it's like, oh darn, you took the plug out. Okay, so we just basically going to continue with our, I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on, and going to hit the grill again, going to do medium again, and we'll just basically do a start with a medium cook, on a medium temp cook. And we'll just do it without the meat probe because as you can see the fibers of this stuff doesn't uh, it doesn't like hold itself together like a beef patty would. A beef patty you probably could get that probe in without it just easily popping out. So we're going to go with the recommendation of medium high heat. Four minutes on each side. We're using medium instead of medium high but we'll do four minutes each side. We'll use our thermopen to check temperature. I'll bring you back when the preheat's done. And actually while it's preheating, I forgot to season up my Beyond Burger patties. I'm using some Grillmates Montreal Steak Seasoning to season these up a little bit. So, you know, kind of like as I would do with a burger, I would probably use some type of a beef or steak seasoning to season up a regular beef patty. So I'm going to use the same seasonings here and, you know, we'll see if that, uh, Gives it more of that real beef taste coming right off the grill. And get this other side. All right, so we got the burger patties all uh, all seasoned up, ready to go. I think we'll be ready to put them in in a moment. I'll bring you right back. Preheat finished. I'm going to open up and I'm going to put both of these on the grill. So there's one and there's the other. And close up. Now I left the counter at 10 minutes. I'm basically going to let it count down to six minutes left so I know four pass, flip them. And then I'll check them and it'll have like two minutes left over so that in case I need to cook them longer or they're undercooked, I still have another couple minutes. And I could just add time on more if I need to, but we'll let these go for now. I'll bring you back after they've been cooking for four minutes. All 
Alright, we're almost down to them having cooked for four minutes and I'm basically going to open up. When I open up it auto pauses, so pop it open and let's see how they look. They are grilling up looking kind of like beef does, you know. They do have redness and we do have some sear marks that look kind of nice. So things are looking authentic, you know, kind of as they cook. But we'll let them go for another four minutes. I'll bring you back. Alright, things are getting down to the last minute of an eight minute cook. I'm going to, this I've got myself some homemade wheat bread here. I'm just going to slice it in half because one slice is so big. I mean, trying to use two slices would just engulf these patties. So I'm just going to basically eat it on a half slice. I'm going to take myself a little mayo, put it on the bottom here so that I have some mayo under my burger. And I'll put some cheese, ketchup, and mustard on top. And so, you know, a little bit, we'll pull it out, we'll test the temperature, and then we'll pull them out. All right, so we're coming in the final seconds. I'm just gonna lift it up and test temp. So those look real good. I'm gonna test temperature here. We're at 167, 165, well, it's like 167. This one over here is 180. Now, this is something interesting I'm finding out with this cooker. Like, things over here are in the 170s. No, no, they're in the 180s. Okay. So, both of them are kind of in the 180s when you stick the probe further in. I was wondering if maybe one side was getting hotter than the other but that's not the case so putting the patty right there I'm gonna stick my cheese on top of it and gonna take this other patty I'll just set it kind of over there for safekeeping and gonna put a little of the ketchup and mustard on my bread here so just gonna squirt a little of that on the top here so get that out like so get a little mustard out like this like that and so dress it up just like I would a regular burger. And with that, we have our completed Beyond Burger. And I'm going to just let it set for a moment just to cool down. I don't want to bite into it when it's too hot. But I'll turn my grill off. And I'll bring you back in a moment. And it'll be taste testing time when I bring you back. Alright, we've got our grilled Beyond Burger here, and so it's time to take a taste. Now how does it taste? Uh, not really like a burger. I mean, it doesn't taste like a plant. Doesn't really taste like a burger. It tastes kind of like, um, I guess it's, you know, maybe something that was trying to be a burger, but it's not a burger. It's probably the best way to describe it because it doesn't really taste beefy to me. It doesn't really taste planty to me. It just kind of tastes, you know, it's not like chicken either. It doesn't taste like chicken. It's kind of like this uh, kind of mellow flavor, but not beef is the best way to describe it. So, anyway, if Beyond Burgers are your thing, this is how you can cook them up. And they do cook up just like the instructions recommend using the medium setting. You know, the instructions say medium high. You can just use the medium setting on this grill. They turn out great four minutes, flip, and let them go another four, and you're good to go. So, you can cook up your Beyond Burgers indoors and have that, you know, searing and all that good stuff. And, you know, as far as things like this, you know, respect everybody's preferences and different uh, tastes and what they like or dislike, you know. So, let's keep the comments a little respectful, you know what I mean? But anyway, do want to see your comments all the same. And I want you to also in the video description check out ways you can help this channel. And you can also find a referral link for this cooker and other things. Also, memberships are now open for this channel. You can join get advanced viewing of videos and other good stuff depending on the membership level that you want to join up for and so you might want to check that out see the link
link in the video description. And you can also check out my blog, superwayovenrecipes.com, for lots of recipes for this and other cookers. There's also a link in the video description for this one as well. And if you did like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can share a video with a friend. You can leave a comment. You can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And good eating.